Impressive work out there today, Yunaka. Whoa, what? I got praise from the Divine One? Zappy! I'm thrilled, beyond thrilled. I'm serious. Skills like yours are in high demand. You must have been a mercenary or something. Right, um, mercenary, yeah. You could tell? I mean, obviously I've murked a time or two, no big deal. I thought so. With strength like yours, you must be pretty well known, too. Uh, sure, I mean, yep, people, uh, people know me. I'll bet some of our allies are well acquainted with your reputation already. I'll have to ask around. There must be stories. Wahrscheinlich keine guten. No, I mean, uh, could I ask you to maybe not do that? What? Why? <sighs> Because I lied. Again, I've never been a mercenary. You said it and it sounded nice, so I went with it. I'm sorry. I'm confused. You asked me about my past. I panicked. And just like always, I hid behind a lie. I'm truly sorry, Divine One. I should not have deceived you. You were only trying to praise me and I just had to go and ruin it. I'll take my leave. Yunaka. Oh, hello, Princess Selene. You look radiant as ever. Thank you, Chloe. We have some free time today. How do you intend to spend it? That's a good question. Ich sag tea. Why don't we take a ride on your Pegasus to a nearby tea farm? I'd be thrilled. Mind you, we don't have that much free time. I doubt it would be like it was before. If only I could return to those days of whiling away the hours with you. Princess Selene? Oh well, let's do something else. When this war ends, I'll take you wherever you like, as often as you like. We'll visit all the tea farms in the world. And we can pass the time taking in beautiful landscapes while sipping delicious tea. Now, doesn't that sound lovely? It does indeed. Wonderful idea, Chloe. I shall hold you to it when the time comes. And I will be happy to oblige. <laughs> You're so adorable when you sleep, Divine One. Huh? Oh, good morning. Did I wake you? Were you watching me sleep? Again? <laughs> yes. Sorry about that. You should just leave me be if I nod off while I'm sitting outside. It's unnerving to wake up on your own and find someone staring at you. Oh, I never meant to do that, Divine One. But you slept for a thousand years, just like a character from a fairy tale. Your sleeping form is so heavenly that I can't help staring at it. I get that, but I still must have been a ridiculous sight, sleeping here of all places. Oh no, not at all. But I have a compromise in mind. Hear me out. If I'm always there when you wake up, maybe you'll get used to it and it won't be so startling. All we'd have to do is set up an extra bed for me in your chamber. Nope, not doing that. Oh, oh shot dear. Shot down. Ooh, look what I found. It's an Alfred. <laughs> Fancy meeting one of those in a place like this. Hey, Yunaka. You, uh, settling in okay? Absolutely. Everyone's been a tasty treat. If anything, the welcome's been almost a little too warm, you know? I'm an unknown quantity. I could be anybody. What if I was a somebody? Who would know? It's weirdly convenient no one's been checking on me to try to find out. Oh, should I be snooping more? Seems like a logical course of action, that's all I'm saying. Well, I do want to get to know you better. So, yeah, we should talk more. When we get the time. <laughs> talk? Is that your idea of gathering intel? Are you really gonna go that easy on me? Think about it, chum. I could be an enemy spy. Yeah, probably not, though. I trust you. <laughs> For so silly lad. My man. Whence comes this unearned confidence? Have you never once been betrayed, swindled, double-crossed, bamboozled? <laughs> I get that question a lot. Gets that question a lot, he says. Not a bit of self-awareness on this guy. I don't get you, Alfred. 
but maybe I shouldn't look this gift knife in the serrated bevel. If you trust me, I appreciate it. Thanks. Anytime, Yunaka. Good morning, Alfred. Nur so. Alleine deswegen, was jetzt passiert, liebe ich. Bootleg Dimitri. Good morning, Celine. Training hard again, I see. Though normally I don't find you using a shovel. That's a deep hole you've dug too. Won't this be hazardous for the others? <laughs> oh, Celine, this isn't training. And if anything, I need to dig deeper. <laughs> What in the world is the purpose of this? I overheard the kitchen staff this morning complaining that there wasn't enough water. So I'm digging a well for them. Pardon? Alfred, if the water supply is low, there's a river nearby we can fetch more from. What possessed you to decide that the solution to the problem was to dig a well? Hey, you're right. That's using your noggin. I'd better find a jug and leg it to the river. Thanks for the tip, Celine. You haven't changed one bit, it seems. Better that you should dress in pelts and furs to warn people of your barbaric mindset. <lacht> Baba, das bedeutet, er hat fette Muskeln. Er ist ein Tier. Morning, Divine One. Good morning, Alfred. That's quite the smile. Having a good day, are you? You can say that again. I got up before sunrise and did tons of training. Even got an early run in. And the cherry on top? I get to see your bright and shining face. What a day to be alive. <laughs> There's no need to tease me. Who's teasing? Wouldn't you be just as happy to wake up to the sight of a friend? Well, yes. I do feel happy when I see my friends. See? <laughs> me too. But, uh, look, isn't there anything I can do for you? You've been awake a while, but it must be hard. There's bound to be a lot you're still adjusting to. Tell your friend Alfred all about it. Let me think. Mm. No, there's nothing bothering me at the moment. Good, great. But if there is something, well, I want to be the first to know. Ich will Panda. Before you left Lethos, you asked me as a friend to teach you things, to help you adjust. And knowing you wanted to be friends just tickled me. Our friendship makes me happy too, Alfred. Oh, dash it all. Face it, Jean. You're lost. It'll cause a fuss if I don't get back soon. <laughs> Jean, is everything all right? Oh, uh, hello, Glenn. Were you crying? Did something happen? I... I wasn't crying. I was just a bit anxious from losing my way, that's all. Our forces are getting hurt quite a lot lately. I came here to forage for healing herbs. Er schwitzt nur aus dem Augen. <laughs> oh, really? That's very helpful of you. I found the herbs I needed, but then I got caught up in my work. And the next thing I know... You got lost. What about you, Clan? Why are you here? I'm here for herbs too. The kind I need to make pickles. Oh, so, uh, do you know the way back? Oh, yes. I come here a lot, so I can help you get back safely. That would be very kind of you. You have to pay close attention to your surroundings when going into the forest alone. You're right, of course. I'll be more careful next time. Good thing I happened to run into you, huh? Let's go home. Thank you, clan. I want to get my parents something, but what? Hey, Fram! Oh, hey, Anna! What you doing? Oh, Anna is so formal. Call me Lady Anna. Oh, right. Sorry. I meant, hey, Lady Anna. Yep, there you go. So, what are you in the market for today? I'm looking for an anniversary present for my folks. Oh, you're a merchant? Do you have anything like that for sale? Fram, 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 of course I do! Feast your eyes! 
You won't find gifts cheaper or better than these anywhere. Ooh, these knickknacks are so cute! I bet this statuette would look good in their house. Tell you what, since we're friends, I'll throw in an engraving of their names for free. Hmm, that's tempting. You're pretty good at this, Lady Anna. I got separated from my family. Being on my own has really put my sales skills to the test. But look, everything I stock is rare and valuable. Your parents will love their gift, guaranteed. In that case, I think I'll get this statuette. Some engraving would make it seem extra special. Thanks for the business! I'll gift wrap it for you too if you wait right there. You may be young, but you really got this merchant thing down. One thing's for sure, I'm not gonna make the mistake of calling you plain ol' Anna again. Thanks a bunch, Lady Anna! Thanks for her what? I sent my parents the gift I bought from you, and they wrote back with a thank you letter. Oh yeah! You did pick a great gift, it's true. Yep, they loved it. Just like you guaranteed they would. It's my business to satisfy my customers. I hope that means you'll shop with me again. Sure will. Oh, and look at this part of the letter from my mom. Let's see here. The statuette was lovely. Be sure to thank your friend Lady Anna for us. We'd love to host her too if you ever have a chance to visit home. Tell her I'll treat her to one of my famous home-cooked meals if she comes along. My mom's not kidding about her cooking being famous. So you should definitely come visit. Hmm. Did I say something wrong? <laughs> I want to send my family a letter too. Aw, oh, Lady Anna. I forgot that you're on your own right now, away from your family. I'm sorry I made you think about sad stuff, but it's okay. You've got us. Well, thanks, Fram. <laughs> I really appreciate that. Tell your mom thanks for me, too. And tell her I'd be happy to come over sometime. Will do. Okay. Enough moping around. Nobody buys from a depressed merchant. You've got a smile to sell. Hmm. Maybe I'm coming at this wrong. What are you thinking about, Anna? Oh, that's Lady Anna to you. But to answer your question, I'm brainstorming new products. More stuff to sell, huh? Yep. You know what Sweetheart's Day is? I think I've heard of it. It's where couples give each other gifts, right? That's the one. Usually people just give each other flowers, but the same old gift every year loses its luster. So, I'm out to market something mind-blowing that'll bring the spark back to Sweetheart's Day. Wow, that's a pretty lofty goal. Oh, quit treating me like a kid and help me out here, Divine One. Nothing I've come up with so far has grabbed me, so I could use someone else's input. Hmm, let's see here. Something new for Sweetheart's Day. How about necklaces? <laughs> I see you have your finger on the pulse of the average Sweetheart's Day participant. Necklaces are almost as played out as flowers. They're hardly going to blow anyone's mind. <sighs> I see. Customers don't want something they can get anywhere. They want something one of a kind. <sighs> the constant need to come up with goods like that is what makes my line of work so tricky. Got it. I'll keep thinking. We'll come up with something good eventually. Camille. Hey, Yunaka. Mind doing me a favor? What you need, pumpkin seed? Stay real still. I need to give you a once over. Wait, uh, what? Why? What are you looking for? And what are you gonna do if you find it? <laughs> so many questions. Here, this will only take a second. Uh. I didn't consent to a shakedown. You're searching me like you think I stole something. Good guess. How did you figure it out? Seriously? That was a joke! I haven't stolen anything! Not even one thing! I happen to know that you did. Yeah? You think your touchy-feely hands are any kind of evidence? Get out of here! Calm down. Nobody's in trouble. Oh, 
Oh, nobody's in trouble. Does that mean I'm free to go? Great, then I'm out. Hey, wait! Yunaka! It's been a while since we had time for a cup of tea together, Princess Saline. There's no need to stand on ceremony, Etie. We've been friends too long for that. As you wish, Saline. How's your tea? Most delicious, thank you. This is a lovely pot you've brewed for us. The pungent aroma and flavor tell me it's a single origin tea from the northern fields, yes? You can tell where it's from with one sip? You really know your leaves. Go on, Etie. Try some. The aroma is really quite unlike anything else. Thank you. Don't mind if I do. Hmm. Well... Well, it tastes like tea to me. You could tell me it's from any region and I'd believe you. <laughs> I thought as much. You always were a bit blind to the subtleties of tea. It's not that I can't taste it. It's that no one's on your level when it comes to this stuff. Mm hmm? Is something wrong, Etie? What do you mean? I noticed your hand trembling. There it is again. Oh, uh, <laughs> I don't think so. You must have imagined it. Really? Well, if you're sure... Today's tea smells captivating. Where is it from? A farming village known for its single origin tea. It's a favorite of mine, so I'm pleased you like it. That's a fancy looking weapon you've got there, Celica. Mind if I take a closer look? Not at all. But I'm not sure whether it will measure up to your exacting standards. Hey, Sigurd. Having a nice day? I sure am, after my jog just now. Ah, oh, that would explain why you are the way you are. Uh, I mean, only that you are well-built. Do you like tea, Sigurd? And if you do, want to go have a cup with me? When you offer, how can I decline? I cannot partake of the tea, yet I will savor the company. I can see why you revere the Divine Dragon. Few people possess such a special charm. I agree. Would you like to take care of the Divine Dragon with me? Oh man, er hätte jetzt fragen müssen, ob, er, ob sie auch in den Club rennen will. Langweilig. I saw you in the Somniel's forest the other day, Lady Micaiah. What were you doing there? I was listening to the birds. They remind me of an old friend, and it puts my mind at ease. Good one, good one.